Hi, Barbara Beckman here. Today I painted a really quick picture of a uh, four chickens. They are my friend's chickens. And he snapped this picture with his cell phone. And what a great picture it turned out to be. The chickens were just perfectly spaced apart where you could see every one of them. And they all had this funny little intense look on their face. Um, I don't know if he was about to feed them or something. But they must have all like come running to the edge of the, the gate here or the fencing rather. Um, here I'm using Liquitex Artist Mask to white out some of that fencing. And I don't want the fencing to be the most dominant thing in the picture. So um, towards the end of the painting, I will definitely be going over it with watercolors to make it less noticeable. But I still want it to be there. I have to apologize for my bird. I have tried a couple times today to videotape or to record the audio onto this. And he just does not understand why I'm in this room talking by myself. Um, I just started making these videos and my Mac is located right underneath his cage. So he just thinks we're having a conversation. So he's poking his little head out right now from this little thing he sleeps in because I have been yelling at him all morning to be quiet. So I, it's just, it is what it is. Um, my house has a lot of animals, a lot of kids, and I work from my home, my art studio from home. So this is just who I am. So I hope you don't mind him. Um, hopefully he'll be quiet and he'll learn that he can't really be the center of attention every time. Well, maybe he's just jealous that I'm painting chickens and I'm not painting uh, sun conures. I'm not quite sure yet. Maybe I'll, I'll paint him next. He is really colorful. He is. I should have named him Crayola. I, I didn't think of it until afterwards. And he's only about a year old. So I, I could technically change his name. Um, He's very loud, so we did name him Mr. Belvedere, but I think he has to be uh, given a new name, and we have to rethink this a little. So anyway, uh, I masked out some areas for the fencing, and now I'm applying a heavy wash, and I will go over this area over and over and over again because watercolor always dries lighter, and I need to have some dark shadows underneath these wonderful chickens. And you'll see me blocking in some darker color now. Um, it was dry lighter, so again, I was over this so many times until I achieved the look that I want. And I changed it. <laughs> he is really, really loud today. I'm so sorry. Um, I change my painting a lot as I'm going along. I, I think some artists do that. Probably all of us do that. Um, if I don't like what I'm seeing or if I have something in my head that I'm trying to achieve and it just isn't working out, I'll keep trying. And sometimes I just change it completely because I'll come across something I didn't even think about. So uh, I'm doing the same thing here with the chickens and getting some of this nice rust color in to, um, to bring them to life now. And I kept the mask in front of them as well. So I hope you enjoy this video. I'm so sorry about Mr. Belvedere up here. Um, maybe you'll meet him someday on video because he is just got such personality. He, these chickens can't stand up to him. So maybe he's just trying to let me know that. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. And I'm going to try to do some some shorter videos with more instruction um, on how I do some of these techniques. Um, they're very easy once you learn them. And they're so simple to learn. So uh, painting, I, I wish everybody had no fear and just followed their intuition. I think everybody has it inside them to be a painter and to paint what they see. So if I can teach you some of the things I've learned, um, that would be really wonderful. I would really love that. So enjoy the video and please subscribe if you haven't already. And if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. I hope you return back to my videos and uh, I hope they're a lot quieter than this one. Have a great day.
Oh, 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 oh,